Okay, guys, I have never heard of this thing before, but it's a dynamometer or dynamometer or dynamometer, but it's used to measure your hand strength. I squeeze down. Okay, it says 59 pounds. Wait, I'm a rabbit? Is that good? The philosopher Kant called music a quickening art because it can bring things to life. It can make a memory. It can change your mood. It has more power to stimulate the brain than anything else. But what about the body? For most athletes and people who run, cycle, and lift, music isn't a nice to have, it's an essential part of training. When listening to music, people run farther, bike longer, swim faster, often without realizing it. And by how much? What's the secret sauce? I want to know if we can quantify it and push it to the limits. Here to help is neuroscientist Dr. Yawande Pierce. Hi, Hello. Everyone. Hello. <laughs> What do we have here? This is a man-powered treadmill. Oh, wow. I like when it's not man-powered. <laughs> this might make you work a little bit harder. Yes. <laughs> OK, well, in this demonstration, I'm going to be um, recording your heart rate okay. and the calories that you burn while you're running to about seven miles per hour. There are going to be three of these runs. OK. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what is going to change between the runs. OK. OK, whenever you're ready, I'll yeah. let you know when to stop. Keep going. Okay, that's good. Let's stop there. Okay. So you can slow down. Okay, so now you can recover. Okay. So while you were running on the treadmill, would you say that that was six, no exertion, seven to eight, extremely light, nine to 11, very light, 11 to 12, light, 13, 14, somewhat hard. I'll say 13. You'd say 13, it was somewhat hard? Okay. Yeah, because I feel my breath right now. So this is the second condition, John. So now you've got the hang of the treadmill. Okay. I'm going to play some music. Okay. Yeah, I like the music. Yeah, it feels good. It makes you feel like you're in a movie. <laughs> That's okay, you can stop now. Okay. Okay, so after that run, do you feel anything has changed on the scale? Uh, it was still like somewhat hard. That was still somewhat hard. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was more fun this time with the music. One more time, same thing. Okay. Gonna play some music, not telling you anything about the music. Okay. And you're gonna try and run to seven miles per hour for about two minutes, and okay. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. Let's go. Okay. How are you feeling? I feel good. All right. Okay, so during this demonstration, I took your heart rate, your uh -huh. calories, and I asked you how you were feeling in terms of your rate of perceived exertion. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, that probably doesn't mean much to you, but we're going to sit down and unpack that all and work out how music can impact fitness. Well, cool. I can't <laughs> wait to find out. But before we explore the science, here's someone who uses music like a secret weapon to push themselves in training every single day. I'm Elena Deladon. I play professional basketball with the Washington Mystics and also with Team USA. What I love so much about the sport is the community aspect of it and competing so hard amongst my teammates. And honestly, there's no way I could do it without music. I can't think of a time where I work out and there isn't music playing. And honestly, like if you think about yourself working out and you think about it being silent, or you put some music on, I guarantee you that workout is gonna be better when the music is on. There's just something motivating, there's something that brings more energy and noise and just makes me be able to perform more. Or like if you're at the end of a workout and you're tired and you just need that one song to like push you through, those are the moments where I need music to get me through it. I can remember when I was little, my dad loved to weight lift. He would always play like heavy metal rock and sometimes my strength coach plays it and I'm like, all right. And I can remember some of the songs from when I was little and I'm like, okay, it's time to lift heavy now. <laughs> I mean, this is my life, you know, working out, challenging my body, especially in those workouts where I don't have a teammate with me. Music is like my teammate. 
John, how are you feeling? Cool down now? I feel completely relaxed. <laughs> That's good to hear. So there were three conditions, and mm -hmm. I said I wasn't going to give you the details of the three conditions before. Mm -hmm. So in the first run, I got you to run at about seven miles per hour without any music. Mm -hmm. And then once you stopped during the rest period, I asked you how you're feeling um, according to the RPE, which is your rate of perceived exertion. Mm -hmm. And you said that that was somewhat hard. Yes. OK. Um, and so then the second time that we went through the demonstration, you ran, but this time we had music. Yes. And how did that feel? It felt good. It felt invigorating. It felt like something was happening. Mm -hmm. I felt the momentum of the music, and uh, it felt good. That's great. So that's also kind of what we expect based on um, previous studies that look mm -hmm. into how music can impact our physical performance. Mm -hmm. So that track was a BPM of 110, which is actually just below the threshold that people usually use BPM to improve performance. The third time we played a faster track at 170 BPM. So you also said it was somewhat hard. So your rate of perceived exertion didn't change, but you found it more enjoyable. And yes, I found it more enjoyable. And like I said, it made me feel like I was in an action movie. Well, that could be tied to the BPM. Mm -hmm. So even if you haven't selected the music yourself, the fact that it is just a higher BPM actually has a tendency to push you yes. to move faster. And that is because of something called rhythmic entrainment. Mm. And that is because there's an auditory motor synchronization that happens in the body. Mm -hmm. So you actually have in your brain like a rhythm center that's responsible for kind of regulating rhythm. Mm. And it's influenced by external signals like music. So when you hear um, music that's at a faster BPM, it actually kind of pushes you to synchronize with the music. That makes sense. It's funny because um, I have multiple goals when I'm picking what I'm going to listen to. Sometimes it's, oh, I haven't heard this artist's new album yet, mm -hmm. and I want to uh, catch up on what I've been missing out on. And I happen to have all this time where I'm doing something else where I can focus on it. And I pick the music based on that, but not based on the BPMs. But I'm probably giving up something by not playing up-tempo music <laughs> while I'm on the treadmill. <laughs> I love everything that you're saying because it really just speaks to how there are so many different ways you can use music, mm -hmm. and there's so much science that looks into the different ways. So um, one more thing that I'm curious about is taking all of that and how we can apply that is if we actually were to super speed the, the track that we played. So the faster track, if we went from 170 to 190, I'm curious as to what that might do. Me but, too. <laughs> so maybe we'll try that. Let's try it. <laughs> John, we're going to use everything that we unpacked. And now, don't worry about seven miles per hour. Just go as fast as you like. OK, I'm ready. Let's go. I think a lot of us intuitively knew this. When you play music that's upbeat, that's driving, that has momentum, it helps you perform better when it comes to running or doing other physical activities that require you to be a bit amped up. It's good to listen to up-tempo music when you're running. It helps you perform better. It helps you get that adrenaline rush that you need to give your full effort when it comes to working out. To me, music will always first be an art, not a science. Now that I've witnessed the effects of music firsthand when it comes to fitness, I know how to find my edge and go beyond it. Looking for a different kind of workout? Headspace's Move Mode has tons of videos to help get your body and mind moving together. Download the app and make some moves now. See you again next week when we'll be trying to find out whether or not music can help you get better sleep.